Hi guys, Dr. Rob Barrington here with some more nutrition advice. I'd like to talk today about tomatoes and why I feel they should be part of a high quality diet. Um, tomatoes have been extensively researched in the nutritional literature and of particular interest in tomatoes is a chemical called lycopene. Uh, lycopene is a carotenoid, um, that means it comes from the carotenoid family of phytochemicals. Um, some of these carotenoids have pro-vitamin A activity, but lycopene uh, is not one of those uh, carotenoids. It uh, is not able to form vitamin A in the body, but that doesn't mean that it's not used by the body for useful purposes. Um, most carotenoids have very good antioxidant effects, and lycopene is no exception. It's been shown to have very good antioxidant effects in humans, in animals, and also in cell culture experiments. Um, lycopene is uh, bioavailable. It, studies have been done to show that if you eat tomatoes, your lycopene concentrations in your blood increase. And therefore, we know that lycopene uh, gets into the system, it gets into the blood, and cell culture experiments have shown that lycopene interacts with your cells. Now, lycopene is of particular interest, uh, as mentioned previously, because it appears to be protective of prostate cancer. A number of epidemiological studies in the nutritional literature have looked at the protective effects of lycopene against prostate cancer. Uh, one particular study compared those people who had the highest intake of lycopene, which was measured at 6.5 milligrams a day, with those who had the lowest intake. Um, it was found in this study that those with the highest intake had a 21% reduction in the risk of prostate cancer compared to those with the lowest intake. The same study also looked at consumption of tomato paste, tomato sauce. Those people who consumed three or more servings of tomato sauce per week had a 23% reduction in the risk of prostate cancer compared with those people who consumed only one serving of tomato sauce. A number of other studies have looked at people with pre-existing prostate cancer and what they have found is that when these people consume tomatoes, when they consume uh, lycopene containing products and when they can uh, consume lycopene supplements, they have a reduction in a marker called prostate specific antigen. When this marker goes down, it is indicative of a reversal or a slowing down of the rate of progression of prostate cancer. There is even evidence of shrinking of the tumours and reversal of the process. Uh, and this occurs when lycopene is consumed. So there is good evidence in the nutritional literature that lycopene is effective at, at combating prostate cancer. Uh, it's, it, it's effective at reducing the risk of developing it, but also if you have prostate cancer, tomatoes, lycopene containing products appear to be effective at slowing the progression of the cancer and may even be able to reverse it in some cases. Now, the, the lycopene in tomatoes has been uh, found to be responsible for this protective effect against prostate cancer. Uh, and increasing the amount of tomatoes you have in your diet is one way to increase lycopene. Lycopene is present in other vegetables, but it's particularly concentrated in tomatoes. Now, tomatoes are a good source of lycopene. However, the lycopene is within the cell wall, and the cell wall being made of cellulose is non-digestible to human enzymes. And this means that if we eat tomatoes, the lycopene or much of the lycopene might not be absorbed because the cells are not broken open. And what research has found is that cooked tomatoes, uh, particularly tomato paste, tomato sauce, um, is a much more bioavailable source of lycopene than whole raw tomatoes. Now, the other thing to note about lycopene is that it is a fat soluble carotenoid. Um, carotenoids being fat soluble require fat within the diet to aid their uh, absorption. Now, if you eat a low fat diet um, or you eat your tomatoes with a particularly low fat meal, much of the lycopene might not be absorbed. Uh, the absorption of lycopene can be increased by putting some fat in the diet. Um, something like olive oil uh, with your salad, for example, would greatly increase the absorption rate of the lycopene from the tomatoes. Now, I would recommend that if you're not currently eating a lot of tomatoes, uh, that you consider increasing the tomatoes in your diet. For men, obviously, this will help protect you from um, prostate cancer. However, lycopene is a very good antioxidant. It has been shown to have antioxidant effects in humans, and therefore everybody can benefit from increasing the intake of tomatoes. Now, the best tomatoes to go for for the lycopene content are those that are the reddest uh, colour. The, the yellow varieties and the orange varieties tend to have less lycopene within them. 
you can then increase the absorption of the lycopene by eating fat with the tomatoes and if you can cook the tomatoes you will also then further increase the bioavailability of the lycopene. Now there is one caveat to mention regarding tomatoes and that is the fact that uh, certain people uh, anecdotally uh, seem to respond very badly to uh, plants from the nightshade family. Tomato is part of this group of plants and certain people seem when they uh, avoid uh, nightshade plants they seem to have improvements in their arthritic symptoms. Uh, if you're one of those people and you find that you can't eat tomatoes or perhaps you just don't like tomatoes I would suggest that you have a look at uh, lycopene supplements now supplements are more expensive than um, eating whole tomatoes or tomato products uh, but they do provide a good reliable source of lycopene so I wouldn't recommend them for everybody I would recommend that most people get their lycopene from tomatoes but if you can't consume tomatoes lycopene supplements are a very good alternative